Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining today. Let's play some Empire Total War as Safavid Persia. So, last we left off, we have uh, two big battles to do. I think this episode. So, I was kind of thinking. So, last we left off, we we took um, we reclaimed Baluchistan from uh, from the French, and so now we're trying to assault Kabul um, in order to take that back. Oh, damn. Wow, so the Marathas have really made some headway here. Hmm. What strong are they? Okay, so so um, so here's here's what I'm thinking overall. Uh, there's a, there's a couple different things that I need to think about um, as far as what to do now. So. We have this army here. We have a Georgian army here. They're getting stronger. I think I was going to attack them and destroy them in detail so that they cannot reunite or, or link up with any of these Georgian troops over here. The thing is, is if this army gets too big, it's going to take me out one way or another. And I don't have a lot of money or resources or even like good troops to, to face off against them with. The camels are probably the best thing that I have. Um, this army actually has skirmishers and Felagin, which actually do pretty well against most, most of these troops. So we're besieging Kabul. I think I need to destroy this place. Um, I think I need to destroy that place. I may need to assault this position, actually, this turn, and, and take it. Um, this commander has ridiculous command, though. Holy shit, that's a lot. Yeah, these, this is going to be painful. These troops are probably going to be really, really good. We've retaken Baluchistan. What I'm kind of hoping is, if we destroy this French force, we may... Possibly be able to get some sort of peace with the French. I don't know. They're allied to Georgia, so there may not be that much use in it anyway, but at least trying to get the French off my back would be better than nothing. And if we're able to destroy this force, then we take this sort of strategic initiative over here. I may even be able to, you know, destroy that in detail, replenish, and then maybe assault Georgia, or um, I don't know if we'll get some sort of peace. Because like I said, biding our time is probably our best sort of course of action. Um, but we'll see. We're trying to steal one of their technologies over here. It's not a very great chance. 22% is not, not amazing. Um, but this is kind of an interesting question of, okay, let's assume we take this and then we're able to hold Azerbaijan just fine. Where do we go from here? And the thing is, is with the Marathas at our doorstep, this is a very interesting question. Do we just leave them be? I mean, it, especially if we break our alliance with the Mughals, we may even be able to get some sort of alliance with um, with the Marathas and kind of just keep them at bay in the east, at least until we become a lot stronger to try and attack them. Um, or, and here's another question, is do we invade India and start start using some of these these pretty wealthy regions for, for ourselves? Um, I imagine that these three regions of Kashmir, Punjab, and Singh, or the Sindh, sorry, not Singh, Sindh, um, these these regions are probably incredibly wealthy. We could probably use these places to not only get troops, but also get money for using back in the West. It's funny because there was a guy, who the guy who actually deposed um, the Safavid dynasty. So we are the Safavids, right? Our our king is Hussein the first. Hussein the first was actually the last Safavid monarch because a guy he, there was a general called Nader, or Nate Nader, I guess Nader. I say Nader, but I, it might be Nader. And he was of the Afshari dynasty, which which was from uh, this region of, of Persia, if I remember correctly. Um, I think he was from, I think it was from like Kiva or something, you know, and that's that's kind of in this this area. Um, so his name is Nader, and he was a he was a general under Hussein the first. Okay, and he was a really good general. Um, in fact, he became so popular, Hussein the first was getting suspicious of him and very paranoid about his popularity and sort of his military prowess. Um, eventually, Nader would overthrow the Safavids and become Shah himself. I think that was in 1736 or 1729 or something like that. Um, you know, and, and what he did was he not only expanded the borders in the West and kind of consolidated a lot of sort of traditional Persian gains over here. Um, like he took Armenia back from the Ottomans. I think he secured Georgia. The Russians were up here. He was able to negotiate with them, you know, to combat the Ottoman Empire. I don't know if he ever retook Baghdad necessarily during that time um i think he may have owned parts of iraq at that time but what what nader did what he was really famed for was launching this crazy invasion of india against the mughal empire which was um a pretty big deal at the time 
India was, you know, crumbling, at least the Mughal Empire was crumbling to the Marathas and to, you know, um, like it had a lot of internal dissension and stuff at that time. And so what, what Nader did is he came over here and just took just a bunch of stuff. I think it took everything west of the Indus River, which I'm actually not sure if this, does this tell me which rivers these are? Because uh, maybe this is the Indus. I don't know. I think it is. Possibly. So I think, he I think he consolidated all his gains west of here. I'm not sure if he took anything over here. But, but some people say at the time, at his like apex, you know, it was arguably the strongest land empire on earth. Um, this guy, he, he invaded and sacked Punjab. And he took so much wealth. I think, I think if I remember reading correctly, he... The treasury of the Mughal Empire was so large when they sacked Punjab, it required 700 elephants, 4,000 camels, and 12,000 horses to take back to Persia. It was literally that large. It was so much wealth that Iran stopped taxing its people for like three years. That's how much money it was. I think somebody said it was like, it was like 700 million rupees or something like that, which at the time, right, and this, this period was over just an un fathomable amount of wealth so i'm kind of curious once we take afghanistan do we kind of follow his example and maybe invade india and take some of these parts for ourselves um, we could probably take punjab with this military force this isn't a great military force but we could probably do it the question is could we hold the positions at all um between unrest and possibly the marathas maybe coming to attack me i don't know it looks like the uh, the Mughals still own Bengal, but they're definitely losing these positions. Um, I'd probably even prefer to take Sindh first, just because I think this position is maybe a little easier to hold. This one's the, the more wealthy region, though. So, and, and that's a question, is do we attack the Mughals or do we just leave them? Because on the other hand, the other flip side of this is say we don't invade India. We go back west and take out the Georgians and kind of start pushing this way. That's not a bad idea. It's just... Which do we prioritize? You know, if we don't want to invade India, we go against Georgia. We kind of start building tall, you know, getting some period of peace back and, and you know, getting some trade going again and that kind of thing. Um, or we go on the offensive and we just start taking stuff. Like, for example, you know, our invasion of Baghdad actually worked out pretty well for us. We were able to take it and we were able to hold on to it and get a peace with the Ottomans. I imagine they're going to come back for me eventually. But to be fair, they're being snuffed out of the, uh, the Balkans right now. They've now lost Bosnia as well. They lost Serbia. I imagine Moldavia and Sofia. Um, they haven't even taken the Maria yet, which is pretty interesting. So the Ottomans aren't doing that great. They're definitely being um, pushed back a little bit. You know, losing two of their provinces here. If I was to, you know, say jump on their their weakness and start advancing in the west, I mean, I could probably sweep through all of the all of the uh, the Levant right here, and then maybe take Armenia. And, and if we secure Georgia as well, we'll own all of the west, right? There is no reason for us to really be over here for now. Then again, the longer we leave alone the Marathas, the worse they're going to get. I can't really trust that they're going to be really all that peaceful with me. Besides me maybe getting an alliance with them. Um, at least with the Mughals, they were weak. Like, we're, like, apparently we're stronger than the Mughals right now. You know, so I'm debating just attacking into Persia. I don't know how well that's going to go down, though. It's, it's really hard to say. I don't actually have any, you know, I don't have any agents or anything over here. Um... I got nothing that I could send over either. There's only two Eastern scholars. So, I don't know. I'm going to have to think about that. I'm not really sure which way I want to go with this. Um, we're going to have to just be patient, I think, and, and try and see what we can do. So, in the meantime, which, which battle do I want to fight first? I think I'm going to fight this one first, as much as I don't want to. Um, this guy has a ridiculous skill. Holy crap. He's got four line infantry, skirmishers. One unit of, of artillery, a couple fire locks. Um, we should be able to take him on. We should be okay. Made a man to surrender. No. All right, he's going to die. <clears throat> yeah, we'll see how this goes. Um, I don't know. I'm a little tempted to go into India at the same time. I don't think we need to pick more enemies right now. It's just that we could get a lot of substantial financial resources by going east. At the same time, I do have a fear. You know, we really don't have the troops to hold on to a lot of stuff. It makes things difficult for us. Oh, God, this is not the best deployment. Okay, I think we're just going to have, yeah, the uh, kind of the same deployment. We've got 
Desert Warriors. We've got the Fellaheen right behind him. Right behind the Skirmishers, anyway. And then I think we have Camels on the flanks. Camels on the flanks. In general, in the center. Well, I might, I might have to keep him a bit back, actually, because they have a Demi Cannon. Okay. So the cannon's on the right flank. So are the skirmishers, actually. What I found kind of interesting was these men did not replenish. These guys are not at full strength. Which tells me the French may be sort of not having that much money. This guy said a basements? No, he did not. Okay. Um, I say we approach from the left then. Maybe. Either that or we just bum rush him. Not really the biggest fan of that idea though, to be fair. Mm. We're definitely going to pull all the cav, I think, to the left. He doesn't have any cav anyway, so we don't have to worry about him responding. What I think we do is we probably... Well, unless I want to run the cav around, just get up, on, just get up in his face and just encircle him. We, we probably could do that. Okay. Oh, he's actually redeploying. Where's he going? I know the demi cannons can't move. Yeah, he's redeploying. I'm not sure where he's going. Hmm. Put him in there. Why are you guys running? Yeah, you guys can walk, man. That's weird. Why are they why aren't they running? Okay. I get some hits here. Keep the general kind of out of his I'm actually kinda of lucky that this is kind of forested. I'm gonna keep him out of harm's way. Um, yeah, I think we're going to move up just like that. Fellaheen right behind. We get these cav from right here. So they're behind this mountain, so he can't shoot. Um. tell who he's shooting at. He might be going for my general, I think. Yeah, I think we're just going to get in range, just mow him down. I think I'm probably going to be macroing the camels most of the time. Yeah, these fire locks I'm not too concerned about, but I don't just want to send my troops in to try and take them out. I could, though. I could maybe have the Desert Warriors or something come after him. I mean, the camel gunners or the camel nomads could do some work, too. I mean, that's kind of the point of those guys. Okay, yeah, and actually, he might even be going for the Fellaheen. Um, I'm actually going to run you guys a little bit. Let's see. You guys have good stamina? That'd be sweet if they did. Holy shit. I know the uh, I know the skirmishers do. Yeah, we'll be in range there. There's a helmet in the middle. Start running those dudes. Um, I know there's Carouge de Bois over there. What I really kind of want to do is maybe get that general. If I can envelop their left flank when all the line infantry are engaged, uh, that'd be pretty sweet. We'll probably take some pot shots here, and then I think the, the, the main... The main attack will be from the Carouge, uh, or the, uh, the Fellaheen. I'm going to charge that dude in the back.
Damn, camels, can you guys run any slower? Holy shit. Holy damn. Oh shit, they got access to canister shot? Wow. Okay, so holy shit, we do not want to be... We do not want to be close to that, dude. Uh, okay, that changes things then. Okay, we need to get the fuck in there. Okay, camels go in, dude. We gotta get that fucking cannon. Holy Jesus. That's terrible. That's gonna fuck us up, man. Camels run, you bastards. Are you kidding me? What the hell is going on here? These guys are made of bayonets, man. What is happening here? Okay, where are my where are my fellow heen units? I want to make sure. I got yeah, I got all three engaged already. Okay, so we've encircled them at least. All right, I'm bringing these guys around. Oh my God, are you serious right now, guys? These damn camel nomads, really. Fellahina are doing pretty good. I'm actually a little concerned though that these guys are just kind of shooting my men in the back. I felt these Fellahina are going to break actually. Um... Ooh, not bad. Oh, not bad. Alright. Oh, motherfucker, dude. Okay, so the general's breaking. So we shattered the general, but he's not dead. Oh no, he's dead now. Okay, so we're, we're, we're good there. I think these men are about to rout. Okay, it looks like we're gonna be done here. This is a mass route, I think. Shit, man, we got lucky on that one. I was a little concerned. I thought these line infantry, I was kind of scared they would hold up a little longer than I wanted them to. Yeah, I think that's it. So we've taken the city, okay. It was not bad. It was it was it was a little painful. Fellaheen, Afghan Hillman, Fellaheen. Yeah, what he said. All right, so we can get these troops replenished almost immediately. Fourteen province or fourteen turns until we get some growth here. Okay, uh, immigration from the home theater. Okay, France, can you give me like a piece or something, dude? Son of a bitch, are you serious? They still don't want peace. Wow. God, so this guy's just going to keep blockading me. Hmm. <sighs> That's unfortunate. Well, let me see if I can ask the Mughals for some military access. Let me see what he has. Um, let me take somebody that doesn't need replenishment. I want to see what is over here. We we may we may attack the Mughals. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I mean, just between these three provinces, that'd probably be some pretty significant wealth. Not that I necessarily need wealth right now. I actually kind of have other priorities. Just wealth isn't bad because if especially if the French aren't gonna take a piece here. 
That's unfortunate. Um, can I offer them some tech or something? Holy crap, he's actually made some pretty pretty steady gains. The son of a bitch, he doesn't want peace. Well, at least we only have two enemies. I guess that's nice. Let's see, crack down. Okay, we can leave this province almost immediately, actually. I don't think I need any beer. I don't know, man. I'm not convinced that we attack the Mughals, though. I really, What I really want to do is send this force west and reunite over here and take Georgia. Because we might be able to attack the Ottoman Empire. Um, he's got no allies. He has a war with Austria and Russia and the Mughals. Not to mention France. Does that, does that mean that France maybe has another invasion army on the way? I don't know. I doubt it. Doubt trade ship. Yeah, I'm just going to keep those guys there for now. Okay, well, at least we took... Um, just took a bull bag. Okay, so we need to do another battle here. I, I really don't want to, to be honest, but I feel like we should. Yeah, I think the strategic situation kind of demands it. At least they don't have a general, so I don't have to worry too much about that. It's just, um, they have a lot of line infantry in this force. You know, especially because they don't have any helmet, my my uh, my inventory don't hold up too well. So I think I think it's kind of the same strategies. We um, we do have a lot of cav, which is nice. We have four four of the camel nomads. And two of the Shaternal Camel Gunners. They have no artillery, so we don't have to worry about any, you know, pot shots. Uh, I'll do two. And then uh, General, I think, right in the center. In case we've got pikemen, line infantry, regiment of horse, totters on the left, totters on the left. Yeah, I may redeploy. No. I think it's fine. Could take that farmhouse, but we're attacking them anyway, so. Um what's what's kind of interesting is these guys last time, I think their their cavalry last time attacked me. So I am curious if they'll do that again. Yeah, you know, it's it's funny because these camels are this guy. So this guy has one unit of experience, you know, 12 melee attack, 12 charge bonus, eight defense, eight morale. It's not bad. I just I just find it kind of funny that they don't do better in combat. You know, like even in that last action against the French, then again, that was a really, really experienced general with some pretty decent troops. So I guess I guess they did hold their own. Um. I just, I find that the, the camels just don't do as good in, in cavalry to cavalry combat. It's kind of unfortunate, even though they scare horses. You know, it's, it's kind of interesting the way that that works out. Um, yeah, I want the camel gunners actually over here. We need to run these guys a little bit. Um, I want the camel gunners also closest to the cav. Oh shit! What are they up to? Oh shit! They're redeploying the totters. No, they're redeploying their troops. Okay, so they're kind of in disarray right now. What are they up to? No, they pulled back the cav. Pulled back the cav. Looks like the totters here are doing something. Damn. Not bad.
Ah, see, son of a bitch. You see, this is what I'm talking about, man. The Shaturno Camel Gunners can kill your own men. I don't like that. It's kind of annoying. But then again, I guess I guess friendly fire is a thing in this game. To be fair. Okay, so enemy generals died. They have a lot of cap, dude. We can't really chase the totters, they're too fast. Can I just get one more volley? Serious fucking line of entry, man. He's going on a heavy left flank. I like that. The thing is, is he, that what I don't like is he's keeping his pikemen back. That's kind of dangerous for us because we that means we can't necessarily just charge him. We kind of have to whittle him down. He's keeping his pipe in right there, right smack dab, man. Might be able to charge this dude. Yeah, so he's in square right now. I guess we just will him down for a bit. Um, I don't have much of a choice. Let's make it a little closer. I'm, I'm willing to take some losses here. I just kind of want to see. Damn. That was pretty good. Nice. Yeah, but the, as long as he has the pikemen, oh fuck! He says to turn around. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna pull you guys out. I don't want I don't want you too close. I'm taking some pod shots here. Okay, well we broke that force. Um, I'm trying to see if we can get some more pot shots at the uh, the pikemen. I I want to charge this guy. I wonder if he's trying to. Let's see. Not doing too bad. These Felhine are gonna run out of uh, ammunition pretty soon. Oh god. Yeah, pull squeeze out. These guys are about to break. This is one thing about not having any melee inventories. I can't necessarily just charge charge anybody into them, you know? Um I think I can go after that guy though, which is nice. This guy's about to route. Well, he was. Yeah, what's interesting is pikemen versus um, other infantry actually use swords. They don't use pikes. Just kind of curious. Um, okay, looks like we broke everybody. So... Um, all right, we gotta run everybody down, though. Can't take no chances on this one. Oh, Jesus. I think I may have just killed... That was like a whole volley into my own troops. Ah, 
not support her. Probably took more losses there than I had to, but I mean, the Camel Nomads, I'm willing to take some losses. Um, the Shaturno Camel Gunners I need, though. Those guys are... <laughs> those guys are central right now. They're probably some of the best ranged, uh, ranged troops we have. Okay. So I have to admit, that went better than I thought. Um, oh, that's kind of cool. Huh. Is that snow? That's interesting. Yeah, that went better than I thought. Okay, that was not bad. Okay, yeah, so we, pr we destroyed pretty much the entire force. 174 lost to kill 728. As you can see, Hillman, Camel Nomads, and the Shatino Camel Gunners, and the Desert War- Wow, really? These Desert Warriors? Um, these guys did some of the best. It's such bullshit, dude. Seriously. Now, here's, here's what I'm also really pissed off about. What if these guys go for our town? I know they can. I'll be so annoyed if they do. I still kind of want to destroy that force, though, to be fair. Let's see what happens. Um, I think we're going to end one turn and then just see where we end up. <sighs> Damn Frenchies, man. I swear, dude, if Georgia goes to this town, I'm going to be so mad. It's so annoying. <laughs> they probably could, though. I don't know if they have a reason to stay in their town. Oh, thank God. Did not. Oh, okay, so we still one of their techs. Sweet, we got common land enclosures. All right, I'll take it. Okay, so what are we? What are they building them now? So they're getting more line infantry, dude. God damn it. Uh, so this is a question: Is do we just leave them? Um, I mean, I think we've accomplished our objective. He has to... I think we, we think we, we accomplished mostly what we wanted to do. Yeah, especially because they can attack the city again. I think we're just going to go back. Okay, so how are things looking right now? Um, France, come on, dude. You're telling me you're not going to take up these. That's such bullshit, dude. Are you kidding me? He doesn't even have military forces over here, and he's still going to blockade me. See? So that's, that's just fucking annoying. Hmm. All right, so Calcutta is is still being hung on to. It's over here. That's a lot of money. Gurkhas, huh? Man, that's like damn near nothing. That's really not a lot. Uh, they got a clamor for reform, war weariness. We, uh, well, as particularly in this location, we would actually have some issues with. Um, unrest, that is true. So we wouldn't be able to move out that army. No, man, you know what? I'm, I'm going to leave the Mughals for now. I think I'm also willing to take the chance that the Marathas are going to be fine. I think I'm okay with taking that chance. Um... What I think I need to do is move this army west to go take care of the Georgians. I think that's our first priority. If I can eliminate the Georgians, then we can kind of see about, okay, maybe we should make the Mughals or that kind of thing. I just, I think we need to take care of the Georgians before we, we do anything else. So we'll give these guys a turn to replenish. Other, other than that, or maybe I just move that now. Yeah, actually, I think I'm going to do that. We just send everybody here. Um... It's kind of interesting because this this general has actually gained quite a bit of command. He's at level five. This guy's still level three, which is which is interesting. Okay, so we have some money. Do we uh, do we do anything? I want to lower. Can I afford it? Barely. I think I'm willing to do that. Because I don't know if I'm going to recruit any additional troops right now. I think I just want to hang on to what I have. Yeah, we can we can upgrade the farms because we just got we just stole that technology. Um, we're working on that. We'll go for some of this stuff. Okay. 
yeah, I think things are looking up. Um, we send these guys over. They'll be there in one, two, three, four turns to reinforce that position. And uh, I, might, I might even keep this guy back. I don't know if we need him from this. You know, just keep him in the fort or something. Um, fort Peshwar. Oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. You know, it's interesting. I actually, I think the, um, when you deploy forts, they actually take on the name of the region that they're in. So, like, this would be, you know, I think, like, Pakistan today. So, it takes on a... a Pakistani name, Fort Peshwar. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah, maybe I'll keep him here. Just to keep an eye on the situation. And then, uh, you gotta admit, I wouldn't mind having some vision here. It's damn French, man. I think what we do is we'll, we'll, if we can afford it, we'll probably just start building up some sort of navy. These are pretty expensive, 170 though. And eventually we can just build up enough ships to just take him on. You know, he's got some pretty decent boats. Um... But eventually, I think with, with our navy that we have here, you know, if we get like maybe four or five brigs, we could probably just, just take that fleet on. I think we'd be okay. Okay, guys. I'm going to take a break here. Hopefully, Georgia will fall pretty soon. And then we'll uh, we'll keep consolidating. I think I think we take Georgia, build up a navy, and and start to look at uh, maybe either invading India or, or going west against the Ottomans. It looks like they're not doing that great over here. They're definitely being pushed back. They've already lost two provinces to the Austrians. So, I think that works out pretty well. Yeah. It sucks these guys want to take a piece. I don't think they'll invade me again, though. But it just it's unfortunate that they're going to keep blockading me. That's going to really hurt our income. So, all right, guys. I'm going to take a break here. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, as always. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks so much.